3 Bravo Bravo, report 11 o'clock, 1 zero miles. Inside 3 Bravo Bravo. 3 Bravo Bravo, clear visual approach, runway 3 zero right. Clear for the visual approach, 3 zero right, 3 Bravo Bravo. Hey guys, check out this fun approach we flew in this new SR-22T flying into BJC in Denver, Colorado at night. We are transporting this aircraft home to Montana and had an overnight stop here in Denver. It was great weather and the city lights were amazing to fly over. We got the visual for 30 right. Comment below what you think that means and make sure to watch because we got vectored directly over downtown Denver. I hope you guys enjoy. Check. We got brake pressure. Yep. And now checklist before landing. So that's our last little bit of checklist. Press the flight plan button. Okay. Three, three Bravo Bravo, just trying to maintain nine or thousand. Nine or thousand, three Bravo Bravo. Okay, so. One thing, let's go traffic. Oh, where to go? Two miles northwest bound, south of the city. Vertical speed, five hundred foot Six miles northwest bound, ten for nine, it's zero. Uh, vertical speed, yep, you had it, you had it. Yeah, there you go. It was, the button wasn't my. Uh, okay, 539, contact approach, one, two, six point one. Okay, before landing, poop pump is boost. Okay, good. Pattern altitude is 65. Yeah, so, but it, remember, it's a visual. So what that means is, it's imagine that we're gonna be coming to the approach, right? So we're gonna be acting like we're gonna do an approach. We're gonna do an ILS, we're gonna do an RNAV, whatever. What, uh, what ATC will do, and if we look here, uh, if, what ATC, let's look at the map here. So what ATC will do is most likely, in a normal thing, they'll, back, they'll break us off of this flight plan eventually, Right, and they're they're gonna break us off here. Of, they're gonna vector you know, us over there. Yep, yeah, exactly. So they're gonna break us off here. One one of you know, if we were doing an ILS like flying all straight in, right? They'd probably break us off here and tell us to fly a vector, and then they'd sequence sequence us for the ILS. But since it's the three zero right, we're gonna plan the visual three zero right. I put in this visual for you know the NXI, which is super cool, and we're just gonna get vectors. And then once we have airport in sight, we can we can we can fly our plane. We can do what we want. 200 feet to go. No, if you don't, that, that's just up there. So... Does that make sense? So, yes. we don't care about pattern altitude, but unless we get, like, unless we get vectored around, right, for, like, a downwind, but since we're IFR, most likely we're going to get vectored here and then intercept a final and just fly in. It's going to be really easy. So when flying IFR or even flight following, it is really important to make sure that you have the proper frequency in before switching. And how I do this, or what I'm doing right now, is that I like to make sure to have the frequency entered into my standby before calling it back to ATC. That way, if I mess up the numbers or misunderstood it, that they can correct me right away instead of switching over and then fumbling back and having to request it again. Mary 7, traffic 11 o'clock, 3 miles northbound, Skyhawk 8500 has you in place. All right, yeah, looking for traffic, uh, three bravo, bravo. Yeah, so the ILS so is... Three bravo, bravo, turn 10 degrees to the right, just to maintain 7,000. 10 right, down to maintain 7,000, three bravo, bravo. Okay, so 340, heading mode. You got a 13 zero, no, three, no, no. direct Zimmer, maintain one zero, Altitude, thousand, five, four, to go. Just second, traffic yep, off the right, three seven miles. Thousand. On the downwind, level in one one thousand seven thirty. Vertical speed. Tell it how to get there. Okay, descent checklist is complete. Downtown Denver. So the frequency again for United four ninety eight. So technically, yep, what we can do. Is okay, since yeah, technically just now he broke us off of vectors. No problem. If you can't get anybody. We can know. technically activate vectors. Just the other plane, just not the control. And what that will do. Is is put us on vector, and now we have the approach on where we're going to do So now we have an extended set of weapons. 373, Denver departure radar contact. You see that? Maintain yeah. follow 230. Pretty cool, huh? You just did that by pushing menu. So, no, because we broke off on, uh, we broke off of our flight plan, he's vectoring us. Activate yeah, vector to final. Okay. Three Bravo Bravo, report 11 o'clock, one zero miles. Inside, three Bravo Bravo. Three Bravo Bravo, clear visual approach, only three zero right. Clear for the visual approach, three zero right, three Bravo Bravo. Okay, so the, the, it's air, air, airports out there, I just know where it is. So now we're clear for the visual, so let's set up for a final, let's, let's set up for a, like set ourselves up. So I'm gonna put my heading boat. I like to intercept at five miles. Like that's gonna be a good intercept angle. There's zero thing, roger, flying at 7,000. Is, is this the class D? Yeah. And let me know when so you get So field elevation's at 56. Pattern new to 7, all two, clear it. Clear it the Bravo, and we have Charlie, the Archipango. 3 Bravo, Bravo, contact tower 118.6, have a good night. Over to tower 18.6, you have a good night. Uh, 3 Bravo, Bravo. 
All right, so now we switch over to tower. Bravo, thank you. Right one, there. one, runway three zero right, clear to land. Winds are calm. All right, three zero right, clear to land. Uh, three, bravo, bravo. Okay, let's do it before landing checklist. I'll help you. Stop bringing out some power. Seat pumps are good. Fuel pump on boost. Out requesting. Fuel pump boost. With information, boost. And Make sure full rich. Full rich. Flaps as required. Let's try slowing it up just a little bit. Bring it back to our go like 35. There we go. Flaps autopilot as required. We're below 150. Good. Put flaps in. 30 right is the right runway. Do you see it? We're gonna turn off autopilot. Yep. Go ahead. Take it. Uh, yeah, just right now, uh, with the right. Yeah, shallow, shallow, shallow. Working both sides. All right, ice community, ice, ice protection flaps, 50%, airspeed, 95. Airspeed on short final, 85. Got your checklist, you land. So, 30 right's the big one on the right side. Do you got it? Yep. Okay, so now slowly bring it, keep power at like 20 something percent, right, 25 percent. We are clear to land, landing land Altitude. is on. Ignore that. It's all you, Ben. Right, so we're a little low, and we're a little fast, so you can pull back a little bit, and now out. Really three zero left. And now add a touch of power, add some power, add some power. Three zero left, Twenty five percent power. And I think I could, uh... And, yeah, go flaps. Go flaps, clear win. You're a little left. Now we start braking, 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 braking. Okay, got the brakes. And we'll make Alpha 4 here, which is not a 90, it's just a runoff, so don't slow, you know, just follow this off. There you have it, the visual 3-0 right. So it's still an instrument approach under an instrument pipeline until you land at a controlled tower. And what this is, is you are guaranteeing that you have visual reference of the airport. So once you are cleared for the visual, it is your discretion on getting down and landing at the appropriate runway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Slowly bring out to uh, uh, idle, like nice and gently. Okay. Take off, we're we'll only three zero left. Over the off, option. off. Make sure left for the option center. Take off. All the way out. Pump boost, pump off. Right to left. 